California coast and Monterey Bay in particular is a beautiful place. It's hard to look out across this ocean and to say, there's a massive problem of ocean plastic pollution out there. But that's exactly what we found when we looked below the surface. We have a challenge to understand the problem of plastic pollution in the ocean, which is why we partnered with the Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute. Pull that back out. Ambari uses robots and other tools to explore and understand our oceans, including this one, the ROV dock rickets. All right, here we go, go now. Get wet. Going out on an ROV dive is really like visiting another planet. We're using these robots to go down into a habitat that's truly inaccessible by humans. When you travel through the deep sea, the ocean looks like a star field. All of these particles are actually dead animals and plants that are raining down to the depths of the ocean. This marine snow is what feeds a lot of deep sea creatures. And in some of these particles, we can find microplastics. Microplastics are some of the smallest pieces of plastic found in the ocean. These microplastics can be as small as the width of a human hair. We've measured microplastics throughout the water column, starting from the sea surface and going down to 1,000 meters using our robotic vehicles. We found microplastics at every depth we sampled in Monterey Bay. The most common type of microplastic we found in the deep sea was PET. PET is a very common plastic polymer that is used in a wide variety of single-use plastic products. Plastic has become this very convenient and durable item for so many products that we depend on. The sheer volume of single-use plastics that's produced means not all of it can make its way into recycling. So wind and rivers carry plastic downstream into the ocean where large materials are broken down into smaller and smaller materials and eventually become microplastic. What was most surprising about our results is that we found the most microplastics were 600 feet below the surface of the ocean. It shows that the extent of plastic pollution reaches down into the deep sea. Microplastics are not just an ocean surface problem. I didn't expect to see so many plastics at depth. When you think of the source of plastics, which you know is us, you expect to see a lot more near the surface. Animals in the deep sea feed on particles in the ocean that are about the same size as microplastic particles. We use laser-based imaging tools to understand how animals in the deep sea are ingesting food and microplastics that might be in the water column. These animals can then be eaten by other animals that either may live at the sea surface or on the sea floor. And so you have an expansion, let's say, of different kinds of animals that can be impacted by our plastics. This research really shows that animals are ingesting microplastics and it's becoming part of the food webs. And it's hard to know if those plastics will ever leave those food webs. How do you get people to, to recognize that there's big problems in that ocean right there? It's hard because it's so beautiful and everything looks great. 500 pounds of plastic makes its way into the ocean every second. But the great thing about this problem is that we can solve it. Recycling alone is not the answer. We have to tackle the problem of plastic pollution in the ocean at its source. And that means using less single-use plastic in our everyday lives by asking businesses to provide us better solutions and recognizing those places for the changes that they do make.